peachtools.com. Tools, how are you going today? Hey, I don't know if you're like me when you learn to stick weld that you couldn't get your bloody stick unstuck from what the hell you're trying to weld. And there's nothing more frustrating, guys, when you're learning to weld. You got yourself a nice little cheap welder, a 20 or 30 dollar welder like this, and then you go in the workshop and you think, oh yeah, I'll get into this and I'm going to weld this two bits of shit together, and it just sticks and sticks and sticks. Anyway, guys, that's what this video is about. How to get you starting welding without sticking your electrode to whatever you're trying to weld. Same as usual guys, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and let's get into it, eh? Yeehaw! So what I've found over the years, guys, even using like an old buzz box like this, bloody old welder, I mean you can pick these up 20 or 30 bucks if you want to start to learn to weld. Um, what I find is, I get more trouble with my rod sticking when I'm using low amperage. So what I did when I first learned to weld, someone told me to, to crank the amps right up, so what I do is just crank the amps right up, and then you got less of a chance of it sticking to your metal to start off with. I found that little tip just helped me out a really, really lot. Because I was trying to start the arc with too low an amperage and it would just stick and stick and stick and it was right pain in the ass. Anyway, so that's about the easiest thing to start off with, guys. Another thing when you're first learning, guys, if you have a look inside your little lead here, inside your little electrode holder, you can see there's lines in here and the lines correspond with your welding rod so you need to so they're on different angles so you need to find the right angle that you're comfortable with when you first start to strike your arc like there's not much point having it like that because i think that we're too far away from where we're starting to try and weld so what i do is i always put it back towards me like so and even sometimes guys what i do is i'll put a bend in it like that and it just gives me a little bit more control because the further you are away from your electrode holder the more the end of it's going to wobble when you just can't really strike an arc. Well, that's what I found anyway. My, my hands shake at the best of times, guys. <laughs> anyway, let's kick this in the guts and see if I can actually strike an arc like this, guys. Oh, before I do, another thing I notice new welders doing, they just go and stab it like so. You've got your helmet on, you can hardly see what you're doing because you're not even used to a welding helmet. Then you go along and you're stabbing like so, and you, then you wonder why you can't start an arc. So what I suggest you do... Yeah, like, like a box of matches, guys. You've got a match, like so. You imagine that the striker plate here is your steel. You don't get a match and go like this and expect the thing to light, do you? You slowly run it up like so, and then away you go. So I would suggest you try exactly the same thing when you're trying to start an arc. So we'll kick it in the guts, guys. I've got it turned up to 140 amp, which is this max. So what I'll try and do is we'll try and do the, the strike match sort of thing, the, the scratch start, guys, see what happens. See that, guys? A little bit of a scratchy poo and away you go, yeah! And also, guys, if you notice this, once it's started, once your rod is started, it's a lot easier to get it to go again. See what I mean, guys? Once you get the bloody thing hot, it's really, really good. Another trick I also learned, guys, to get rid of that, is if you've got your electrode here, all right? So you put them in there, like I said before, feel whichever way it's most comfortable for you, and either bend it, or if you don't feel comfortable bending it, hold it halfway down while you start your weld, when you're trying to initiate your arc. Because what you're doing is you've got a real long distance between here and here, and if you're not used to it, you flop around like I don't know what, you know what I mean? The end, at the end of the uh, electrode is shaking like so, and it's really, really hard to start an arc. So what I ended up doing was, when the gloves on of course, grab it about here. Here, I'll show you. Kick it in the guts, Pete. Hee <laughs> hee. See, as we're here, see, we're, we're flopping around like so. But if you hold it like that, 
if you don't know if you play pool or you know if you're holding a pool cue like so that's what i do anyway and once you get it started then you can move your finger away and you don't get burnt so we go here we go guys piece of weasel See what I mean about starting it again when it's hot? Starts almost instantly. Pretty ugly welding guys, but the object of this video is just to try and teach you how to strike an arc Because there's nothing worse than you get your new welder or your new second hand welder And you stick your bloody electrode to the thing and it just annoys you Well annoyed the hell out of me anyway Right another tip I've got for you guys is if you've got a long electrode like this and you can't control the end of it Just cut it in half Grab a pair of pliers or an angle grinder or something and just cut it in half to make it shorter See that there guys? Just make sure you haven't knocked all the flux off it on the end. And then I'll put this in and then I'll show you how this one starts up. Yeah! So here's the one we cut in half guys. Now make sure you use the, the correct end to hold it in your torch. Which is the end that hasn't got the flux on it of course. Once again put it in your torch. Or your holder or whatever you want to call it and make sure it feels right once again make sure it's in the groove that it's nice and tight like so see now i've got it leaning forward a little bit because it's a lot shorter and i can see the end of it kick it in the guts pete geez the old buzz box makes a bit of a doesn't it <laughs> right let's see if we can get this sucker going see what i mean guys shorter electrode starts easier So guys, those little tips might help you out a little bit. Like I keep saying, there's nothing worse than you go and try and start something and then it just sticks and you just get awfully disappointed, you know. And it doesn't cost a hell of a lot of money to get into this welding luck. You can buy a box of welding electrodes for about 10 bucks. You can buy a bloody old buzz box like this, maybe off eBay or something like that for 20 bucks, 25 bucks. And then you're away laughing. Hee -ha! Hey guys, if you want to check out a review on a multi-purpose welder or a mid tick and an arc welder, uh, cheap one about 200 bucks check up that side there I'll put a link for you and if you want to see the first time I ever did some flux core welding Check over that side guys. It's a bit of a laugh, eh? Anyway You know what to do. See ya. Bye Pete's tools.com